Micro Machines! Ah yes, the tiny cars of my childhood. Amazingly simple toys that were highly collectible, and I had a ton of them. Yes, Micro Machines are still around today, albeit they're not as popular as they were back then. They were the toys to have, and those old school adverts on TV sure did a great job of letting us know all about them. One, two, three, four! You can get into town! Inevitably, there was a game being developed, and that task was given to Codemasters, who released the first Micro Machines game for the NES and the Mega Drive. These were amazing, playing with your friends in crazy elimination races, tight handling, fierce speeds through precarious obstacle courses all set in common household places. You know, the places where you would play with your Micro Machine toys. Now, Micro Machine games have always been heralded as a fun and fantastic party game to get out and play with your friends and have a laugh. From the classics and the likes of Micro Machines V3 on the PlayStation, but now Spin Forward and Codemasters have made a new one, and we should all rejoice in a new next-gen instalment, right? WRONG! Well, hold on, let's take a look. Okay, firstly, the graphics do look good, everything looks okay, but uh, hang on a minute, what's this? There's no championship mode. I... You know, I can't even get access to any of this because I'm not online. Okay, well, I guess that's okay to a degree because there is still the option to play skirmish events locally on one machine. And online multiplayer in this day is a must. However, we can't all race on one console. No, if I want to race against all my friends, we will have to go home and log on. But we can take part in the classic elimination matches if we want, and that's something, I suppose. Okay, so we're in a match, picked our cars out of 12, no characters like Dwayne, Cherry or Spider to choose from, and we're off! Three, two, one... Holy crap, is that Brian Blessed? Gordon's alive! It is! It is Brian Blessed! Yes, and after his dulcet tones ring out, you hit the gas and off you go. But then it becomes immediately apparent that Codemasters may have forgotten how a Micro Machines game is supposed to work. The handling on the vehicles is probably the worst ever for a Micro Machines title. Sluggish and slippy racing is the order of the day here, and you will be penalised with a loss if you hit a wall slightly or enter a long drawn out power slide. Most turns can feel like you're fighting against the controls, and it's even worse when the cars actually drive on some ice. Falling off edges, bumping into walls, there's even a hovercraft that will turn 30 seconds after you ask it to. Seriously, it's not the best. I wouldn't recommend picking this vehicle if you want to win. The controls you would think could be tweaked in the options, and for a more authentic Micro Machines experience, it would have been great if we could have used the D-pad for steering. But no, the uh, D-pad's been reserved for... wait for it. Emotes. Yes, emotes. In a Micro Machines game. Why was this needed, Codemasters? The AI is pretty awesome at the game, and be warned, they will take no pity on you, often leaving you with a furious defeat due to the game mechanics being rather sloppy. To aid you in your efforts to win are some power-ups dotted about the track. Now when I say power-ups, what I really mean is... Nerf guns. That's right, Nerf came along and basically said to Code Masters, Hey, how about you make your game one giant advert for Nerf guns? Unfortunately, the power-ups aren't the best either. Add to this the huge Nerf-branded HUD in all four corners of your screen and your irritation levels may begin to soar. What's more annoying though is that you will never actually need to look at the Nerf weapon indicators as there's only a tiny handful of power-ups. And you can clearly see what you have as it's floating above the car that you're looking at. So, just another brand sticker for Nerf then. You know, in case you'd forgotten. They're Nerf products! Hey guys, look, 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 look! I got a Nerf gun, isn't it cool? Look at this, look, Nerf, Nerf! Ah, it's so cool! Look, we can put it here, we can put it in the corner. We can put it down here, we can put it back up here. You know, we can, we can put it anywhere we want, in the corner. Have we got any tape? Have we got any tape? I really want to show everyone my Nerf gun. The game modes are varied, featuring some new battle modes where each car has different abilities and weapons but these arena modes play like you would expect, not fun and not needed. We don't need a capture the flag or a bomb delivery mode in a Micro Machines game, but the real problem here is the lack of a single player championship mode and that really lets the game down. The online aspects are pretty bad. Most of the time the games we did get into featured two to three real players and the rest filled up with AI. Also, two out of the three games would disconnect or lag constantly. And the fact that you can only rank up in these online events is just, ugh. There are loot boxes that you unlock after earning so much XP. These contain unlockables like voice lines and colour variations for the small amount of vehicles. 
They tried to make it like Overwatch, and I'm left asking myself, why? This is a Micro Machines game, but it really needs to get a grip. Micro Machines was never about this. It was about tight racing and strategy, and now what Codemasters have given us is a poor hack job of Mashed. Yes, remember Mashed? I think it's a far superior game still to this day. I'd recommend playing Mashed, or even better, just fire up one of the old faithful Micro Machine classics. You're guaranteed to have much more fun. The main thing about Micro Machines is the gameplay and the handling of the cars, and it would appear that in this instance, Codemasters have instead focused on nerf brand identity and unlockable trinkets, rather than what we would say are the core features that made Micro Machines so great back in the day, giving this a Gamegasm 4. I can only assume that this remake will be swept under the rug in due time, and maybe Cody's will make a better Micro Machines down the line? Maybe not. This one certainly hasn't shown us that we need one. I'd say stick to the classics, as this one, well, it crashed and burned. However, I will tip my hat to Brian Blessed. I mean, he's basically the best part of this entire game. God bless you, Brian. Oh, f Guys! Look what I'm look what I'm doing! I, I got all this stuff. We're gonna make a micro machines track. It's gonna be amazing. I've got I've got bread. I, I've got Pringles. I've got I've got Cheerios. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have so much fun making a micro machines track. I've even got PG tips and some beans. Uh huh.